Welcome to the Mahabharata. We have completed six chapters thus far. You will find these narrations under the playlist The Mahabharata in this very channel. Today we enter chapter 7 Vichitravirya. When Vichitravirya came of age, Bhishma was on the lookout for a suitable bride for him. At that time, the king of Kasi proclaimed the Swayamvara of his daughters, Amba, Ambika and Ambalika. As the princesses were credited with exceptional beauty and accomplishments, princes from far and wide came for the function, dressed in their best attires, exhibiting the usual pomp and pageantry. When it was known that Bhishma of the Bharata dynasty came, several comments were heard. What about his vow of lifelong celibacy? Why should this old man come? Bhishma is an illustrious warrior of metal and he may have some pious motives. These were some of the utterances that were heard. The princesses ignored the presence of the old warrior. In the Swayamvara, the choice of the princesses counted normally. However, according to the Kshatriya tradition prevalent in those days, an outstanding warrior of extraordinary valour may choose to carry away the prize. Of course, after an open challenge for trial of strength, it was called the Rakshasa type of marriage and the heroic way was accepted by the Kshatriyas. However, it was a very rare occurrence as no warrior, however brave he might be, seldom dared to face singularly the combined wrath of all the princesses present. However, Bhishma chose the extraordinary method and openly challenged the princess for a fight. Nobody dared to fight the veteran warrior and Bhishma placed the three princesses in his chariot and rode away. While he was on his way, Salva, the king of Saubala, who was attached to Amba, attacked Bhishma. After a fierce fight, Bhishma could overpower the king of Saubala, but spared his life at the specific request of the princesses. When brisk preparations for the marriage function were on the way, Princess Amba came to Bhishma and said, O oh, best of the Bharataris, I fell in love with Salva. I would have fastened the floral garland around his neck the other day in the Swayamvara function, but for your brave intervention. You are credited with the knowledge of dharma and known for your nobility. I request that you may be pleased to choose the correct course of action. Bhishma immediately sent Amba to King Salva with appropriate escort. Amba was very happy and narrated the whole episode to Salva when she met him. But Salva was not happy. He told her, My dear Amba, I would have been the happiest man on earth if I were selected by you in the Swayamvara. But destiny willed it otherwise. I am now not prepared to accept you as a philanthropic gift from the hands of Bhishma who has defeated me and disgraced me in the open fight. By sending you to me, the old man has added insult to injury. Better you go back to Bhishma who has won you by valour. Amba went back to Bhishma and expressed her willingness to marry Vichitravirya as per the original schedule. Bhishma requested Vichitravirya to marry Amba but he refused begging pardon of his esteemed brother for his inability to take a girl who mentally married someone else as his wife. Bhishma conveyed his helpless pity to Amba who found herself in the most ridiculous situation. As the last resort, she approached Bhishma and said, Worthiest warrior of Bharata Varsha as well as of the Bharata race, you have won me by your valour. So you have acquired the best claim on me. As a chivalrous Kshatriya, it is your duty now to marry me. In fact, 